To say that 2020 has been a strange year is an understatement. There have been a lot of ups and downs, but there have also been many brands that have risen to the forefront of popularity. While some bikes were expected others were certainly unexpected, so we've rounded up our most popular bikes for 2020. Based on requests made on the site, these are the best bikes of 2020. Now here is a more unconventional choice. The Motorstrar Explorer 250R is a very special entry into the top 10. It is a bit of a wonder why people choose this model. Perhaps this is due to the rise of the adventure segment in aesthetics, with leading examples such as the adventurism of the Honda PCX, which led to the Honda ADV 150. There is a market for this type of motorcycle, but a lot of these bikes have a premium. Taking advantage of this trend, Motorstar, with its Explorer 250R, has a very affordable price tag of just 69,000 pesos, which is surprisingly affordable since you're not paying more than the price of a mid-range scooter from one of the four major brands. Interesting how this model will perform in terms of popularity if it declines or continues to gain traction. Here is another handy option when trying to enter the freeway. The Kawasaki Bajaj Dominar costs 175,000 pesos and has a 373cc SOHC single-cylinder engine that produces a healthy 3.5 PS, which should be sufficient for highway speeds. As a great entry-level bike, it does this well to give the buyer good value for money, and it also comes with a fair amount of features and a respectable look, and with this advantageous price, it makes a very tempting entry in the top 10 list. The only manual transmission engine on the list is the Yamaha Sniper. Made famous by various racing events in the country and Yamaha's early reputation in the country. Equipped with a 149cc single-cylinder injection engine that develops 15 horsepower, the Yamaha Sniper promises good performance in a lightweight package. Coming in at 102,900 pesos and going over 104,900 pesos, the Sniper presents a good overall package that promises good day-to-day -day performance in an attractive package to boot. The second most popular fat bike in the Philippines is the Honda Rebel 500. A cruiser with a low saddle and a 471cc parallel twin that produces 46.85 horsepower. Which is quite user-friendly for your average beginner and a piece of cake for an experienced driver. If you take a brand known as Honda and put it in nice, legal and user-friendly packaging, then you have the recipe for success. Without a doubt one of the prettiest models on the list today, the Yamaha XSR 155 is powered by the same engine as the NMAX 155, but is tuned to produce 19 horsepower through the magic of the VVA. At 162,000 pesos it costs a bit on the expensive side, but the finish and quality you get from this bike is pretty hard to beat. You can't deny that he has the look that will turn heads and grab attention, especially in that garage metal colorway with that brown saddle. The Neo Retro bike is one of the best looking versions of 2020 and has a loyal following. The XSR 700 and XSR 900 have their legion of fans, but the 155 is the most affordable of the XSR model series. Yet another scooter makes the list, and for good reason. With the aggravation of traffic jams in the city, a motorcycle only makes sense. One of the other most significant motorcycles on the list today is the Honda Click. The price goes for the 76,900 pesos, which is quite affordable for an 11 horsepower automatic motorcycle, which is not bad for a 125cc displacement. As for popularity, it's a good mix between the power you need and fuel economy for a city bike. Because it is light, handling is also easy. It also has a very accessible and unpretentious design, which is perhaps why many people put it first when considering a new motorcycle. 
the most popular fat road bike in the Philippines is still the most popular fat road bike in the Philippines. From start to finish, CF Moto's 400NK continued to hold its position on our top lists. This is one of the best value for money on the market today, costing just 219,800 pesos, brand new. This award gives you a 180-degree parallel twin engine with a displacement of 400.4 cc. Being a naked motorbike, it is also user-friendly for many people who want to have their first big motorbike. With straight ergonomics and a very Asian saddle height, it's a decent bike that's not too intimidating let alone the weight. A facelift in the third quarter of the year helped rekindle interest in the model, and its announcement generated a lot of hype from many buyers, thanks to the new design and new features that the NK400 is equipped with top-level bike, it's not a bad choice, and the price makes it a bit easy. In the wake of the country's number one motorcycle brand, there is another member of the Big Four Honda. The hugely popular Honda ADV 150 is an amazing scooter that combines the styling cues of the Honda XADV 745 with a more maneuverable and easier to ride model. With 14.7 horsepower from its single cylinder engine, it makes correct figures considering its displacement of 150cc, and also has an automatic CVT. The ADV 150 is really good looking and managed to take third place in all moto deal races. We remember when the ADV was a bit of a mythical creature. Getting one in 2020 was pretty tough at the start of the year, but as things cleared up over the year seeing an ADV 150 has become more common. However, at the 149,000 pesos, the price is quite steep compared to its other rivals such as the NMAX 155. However, considering the more adventurous equipment such as an adjustable windshield and show a front and rear suspension, one doesn't can't fault the price so high, if the quality of the slapped parts is just as high, making this a pretty amazing option for your average biker. The sportier twin of the N-Max, the Yamaha Mio Aerox is another scooter from Team Blue but has a more aggressive styling and is a more conventional scooter than the N-Max which is a Maxa scooter. Still equipped with the same 155cc engine with VVA, it foams the larger fairings of the N-Max in favor of a more chiseled and trimmed body. While it still delivers the same performance at around 14 horsepower, it is a bit lighter, has less storage space, and has slightly larger wheels. Again, this is another Yamaha, which undoubtedly helps to increase its popularity over other rivals in the segment, and has helped it get closer to its stable companion and max. For 102,900 to 124,900 pesos it is a bit more expensive, however Yamaha's reliability and resale make it a good deal. Unsurprisingly, the NMAX 155 is our number one ranked bike. The Yamaha brand linked to a reliable and comfortable scooter is a combination that kills. With a displacement of 155cc and variable valve actuation VVA, it's not much in terms of horsepower, producing only around 14 horsepower, but it has remarkable functionality with its automatic CVT and plenty of storage as well as compartments for the pilot. It also helps that it is one of the best known models in the Philippine market today, and that it is one of the most sought after models in the wide range of Yamaha motorcycles. Although it is priced a bit high at 119,000 pesos for a base unit to 134,500 pesos for a model with ABS, it still managed to be the apple of many racers for the year 2020. Aside from its reputation, it is an excellent city dweller with a lot of practicality and ample space for the passengers. We're not at all shocked that the N-Max got the top marks like it always has last year since launched. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook channel. Hit that notification bell to receive newly uploaded video. Keep safe and have a good day.